Charlie. All I know is that you gave Alan the best years of his life. If it weren't for you, he would have jumped off that bridge years earlier. Nobody could have saved him. Believe me, I spent years trying. I don't think I believe anyone can save anyone. She saved him. She wasn't trying to hurt him. She was trying to help him. Who are you talking about? He's going home. She did that. Charlie. She didn't try to hurt him. She did it to send him home. Do you feel lightheaded, Charlie? Look at me. She's trying to help him. Who? Ellie. She was trying to help him. She just wanted to send him home. Do you ever get the feeling that people are incapable of not caring? People are amazing. What the fuck did you do? What's wrong with him? dying. So call someone. No. Call a fucking ambulance. Please. I need to talk to him. I'm not leaving you alone with him. I need to talk to him alone. Charlie, I'll head downstairs. Why'd you do that? What? I failed. That's a really good essay. Are you just trying to screw me over one last time? I don't care about you. I don't care that you're dying. Do you want me to fail out of high school? Is that why you did this? I didn't write it. This is the essay that you gave me yesterday. You didn't read it. I don't need to read it. Read it. This is... I know what this is. I knew you would. I wrote this. You never forget anything. I wrote this in, in eighth grade for English. Why do you... And I felt saddest of all when I read the boring chapters that were only descriptions of whales because I knew that the author was just trying to save us from his own sad story. Just for a little while. <laughs> How do you have this? Your mother, she sent it to me four years ago. I wanted to know how you were doing in school and she sent it and it's the best essay I've ever read. Why are you fucking with me like this? I'm not. I'm sorry for leaving you. I was in love and I left you behind. You did not deserve that. I don't... I don't know how I could have done such a thing. You're so beautiful. You're amazing. Stop. You're amazing. This essay is amazing. This essay is you. Stop saying that. This essay is you. Stop saying that! You're the best thing I have ever done. What's the matter? Ellie. No, okay. I can't hear it. I You're to... perfect! You'll be happy. You care about people. The ambulance is coming. They'll help you. No, they won't. You're going to the hospital. No. 
You just need surgery or something. Read it to me. What? If you want help, read it to me. You'll help. If you read it. You asshole. You fat fucking asshole. You'll help if Fuck you read you. it. Fuck you. Please. Fuck you. Ellie. book Moby Dick by the author Herman Melville. The author recounts his story of being at sea. In the first part of his book, the author, calling himself Ishmael, is in a small seaside town, and he's sharing a bed with a man named Queequeg. The author and Queequeg go to church, and later set out on a ship captained by a pirate named Ahab, who is missing a leg, and very much wants to kill the whale, which is named Moby Dick, and which is what? In the course of the book, the pirate Ahab encounters many hardships. His entire life is set around trying to kill a certain whale. I think this is sad because this whale doesn't have any emotions and doesn't know how bad Ahab wants to kill him. He's just a poor, big animal. And I feel bad for Ahab as well because he thinks that his life will be better if he can just kill this whale. But in reality, it won't help him at all. I was very saddened by this book, and I felt many emotions for the characters. And I felt saddest of all when I read the boring chapters that were only descriptions of whales, because I knew that the author was just trying to save us from his own sad story, just for a little while. This book made me think about my own life. And then it made me feel glad for my